Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick speed run today to verify if a bug is happening and if so, share that in the issue. So there's an issue that's a bit older about deploy tokens not working with read access to the package registry. And it says here that um, a deploy token with read package registry scope does not work for um, listing the package using the packages API. And there was a bunch of discussion down here um, that existed that we were talking about. Uh, basically, it not work, the deploy tokens not working with artifacts. Um, that's intended. And I opened a new issue, um, number 282535, to propose making that work. But I did want to test um, for David, who's the developer working on this, that it is indeed not working with the API for packages. So. We have this, uh, the packages API, and with this, you can list pack packages, um, get one or delete one. So I'm going to just test quickly with the list packages group API. Uh, okay, so, and I'll first test with a personal access token. So I created, well, let me start from scratch, I guess. Um, let's start with a group. So Basically, I'm going to copy this command or this curl request, and I'm going to just put it into Atom, which I've already done. Um, so there are a couple of things. I'll just paste it in here for reference. You could see below, I had to put in the access token. So here I'm using a personal access token that I created. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, you basically go to your personal settings, and then there's a uh, option here for access tokens. So I just created one that I will immediately delete after this video and uh, that will expire later today. The other information that you need to fill in is your group ID. This can be found uh, within your group. So I'm in this feature testing group right now. Let's go back to it. And I see the group ID is here. So just confirm that's what we have here. OK, good. So if I run this from the terminal, it should re reply with all of uh, my packages for this group. Oh, I should mention one other thing, and I'd like to make a documentation change, is uh, this option here is, will either include or exclude packages from subgroups. I believe it says here in the documentation that the default is, where is it? The default is false. Um, but I noticed when I copied this request, and I can show you here again, just that it says true. So I'm just going to update the documentation after this to set the uh, example to false, since that is the default. OK, so I'm going to copy this here into my terminal. Boom. This looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to check to see if every uh, packages here, but it certainly looks like it's returning a list of packages. So that's good. Now let's try it with a deploy token. So I have to replace this section here with my deploy token. Okay. So I'm going, I'm in my feature testing group and I'm going to the settings and for deploy tokens, you go to settings repository. I thought that was kind of confusing. I almost was tempted to look in CICD for that. But here it is, deploy tokens, expand, and let's call this test packages API. And let's just expire it tomorrow. Enter custom username if you want to change it. So I don't have to change this, right? Let's look at the documentation. Choose a name. OK, it is optional. I don't really have a strong preference on username since I'm just testing this quick. So let's, for the sake of brevity, leave that part out. Uh, and here's the difference between the deploy tokens and the personal access tokens. Personal access tokens, your scopes are limited to API. Um, and then we have this write uh, read registry and write registry, but this is for the container registry, not the package registry. So if you're trying to um, 
give access to um, update the, the package registry, you need to give API access. And it mentions that here. But for the deploy token, it's a little bit more fully featured. So we actually have the ability to say read the package registry. Okay, I'm going to create. And here's my new deploy token. Use this token as a password. Okay, so I'll just copy here. And let's fill this in. Okay, so if I submit this curl request, I should see results. And, oh, I have a GitLab example in here. Ah, unauthorized, unauthorized. Let's, um, let's try one more time uh, with a different scope. So let's say, good, we got that collapse. So how do I create a new deploy token? Odd. Let's try, I guess, going back. Sure, let's see what happens when we refresh. Nope. Okay. That worked, but it would have been nice to have a cancel button or something there. Okay. So let's call this test write. API and we'll say this expires tomorrow and we're going to leave that empty and we'll try write package registry. Actually, let's just, let's just, well, let's just try it. Let's do one thing at a time. So we'll create the token. Here it is. unauthorized. So I think there there is indeed a bug here. Uh, it seems like the deploy tokens are not working with the uh, list packages API. 